Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you a hundred things to do when you're bored. So let's get started. So the first thing you can do is you can perform an exorcism. You can try in your prom dress or if you've already been married, you could try in your wedding dress. You could practice running away from zombies. So if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, you're ready. You could design your future tattoo. That's supposed to be a wave. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Oh my goodness. You could go for a drive to go pick up food or get some groceries. While you're in the car, you can join in in some car karaoke. You could find a way to spice up your clothes because I know there's a lot of videos on cool DIY clothing hacks. So here's me turning this super boring old flannel into a cute new trendy dress. You can learn how to coddle a baby, and if you don't have a baby to coddle, you could do it on one of your pets, like your dog or your cat. You could come up with a different character for each pair of glasses slash sunglasses that you have. You could do jump rope. You could take it one step further and learn how to do jump rope tricks. You could give relationship advice, but only for single. Oh, hi. Yeah, Lizzie. Yeah, so I was thinking about it. You know, communication, it's its so important. You can teach your parents a TikTok dance, and if you really wanted to, you could even make a TikTok with them. <laughs> you could incorporate feng shui tips to bring more good vibes into your home. So on this website I read, they said you should use a lot of natural light and make sure your mirrors are reflecting the windows. You can practice driving like they do in Fast and Furious. Just kidding, please always drive safe. You can teach your dogs TikTok dances and make a TikTok with them in it. You can learn how to do a magic trick. You can learn how to throw it back. You can learn how to speed read because that will help you a lot in school. <clears throat> You can write a poem. You can take that poem and modify it to make it about your friend or your crush. You can take that poem and then recite it to your friend or your crush. I wrote you a poem slash letter to Emily. Hi Emily, you are so pretty. I like eating cookies with you because you help me when I'm feeling blue. And you're someone I look up to because you are taller than me by a full caribou. Oh my god. I made it rhyme. You can practice sitting in chairs really quickly. So the next time you play musical chairs at some type of party, you dominate once again. You can learn how to beatbox. This variation is called Boots and Cats. You can clean up your Facebook account by deleting old photos or re-uploading some more recent pictures of yourself. You can create an entire new character for yourself. So here's me trying to be, or at least my best attempt at being a teenage boy. You can do parkour in your house because that's a pretty good exercise. You can learn how to do CPR, but for this one I would highly recommend taking an actual first aid course. You can recreate your favorite music album cover. You could practice chugging, water, unless you're of age. You can recreate your favorite movie scenes. Clean up on aisle five. You can teach your dog how to fetch. Go, go, go. Okay, now bring it back. You can marry condo your entire house, which basically consists of taking things in your house and asking if it really sparks joy still. You can practice your debate skills slash arguing strategies. So the next time you are in a loving back and forth bicker with your significant other or your local Karen at the grocery store, you are 100% prepared. You can learn how to say greetings in different languages. Bonjour. Hola. Privet. Ciao. Sin ciao. Zdravo. You can see how many bones you can crack in your body. You can go for a swim at your local outdoor pool. You can learn how to do an actual push-up and even maybe some push-up variations. You can clean your jewelry. You can plan your next vacation for when these times are over. You can try communicating with your neighbors, Taylor Swift style. 
You can practice your fighting moves, nothing like some good self-defense. You can learn how to whistle with your fingers. You can subscribe to a box. So this is a box that my house is subscribed to and they basically give you a whole bunch of Japanese treats. You can learn how to make a good paper airplane. I know this one's pretty basic, but I tried making a cool circle one, but it didn't work, so here it is. You can learn how to do a cartwheel. You can support the Black Lives Matter movement by signing petitions, donating, and just getting educated. So this is a really good website that's been going around lately. I'll leave it down in the description down below. You can start a collection. So here's my snow glow collection. You can play one of those hand clapping games that we used to play when we were in elementary school. You could teach your dog how to give you a high five. Again, high five, yeah. You can binge watch a whole bunch of movies with your friends by using Netflix Party. You could improve your overall flexibility or specifically your back flexibility. You could go get that nice golden chicken nugget tan. You can learn how to actually do math. You can teach yourself how to moonwalk. You can spend some time in your favorite place. So for me, like the basic average person that I am, it's my bed with my dog. Oh, ew, that's so gross, Abby. You can read a self-help book. You can go for a walk outside. You can hang out in your backyard and do whatever people like to do in their backyard. You can try and make a card tower, but this is super hard. You can watch the sunset or the sunrise. When I filmed this video, it was in the middle of the day, so I just tried to find the sun in general. Look, it's the sun. You can be super nice and wash your parents' car for them, but that's only if you're really bored, and I'm not that bored, so I didn't wash the car. You can learn how to sew some masks. You can wear your own mask. You can learn how to make a good savory breakfast because this comes in handy when you really just need a filling breakfast to get you through the day. You can go school supply shopping since it's around that time of the year. You can try some Pilates workouts. In fact, if you're interested in different types of at-home workouts, I actually have a video about that and I'll leave it linked down in the description below. You can try working out with some weights and get nice and buff. You can organize your closet by shade or organize it by color. You can learn how to sew things. This skill comes in handy because then you can patch up holes in your clothes or even tailor them if you're too short. You can look through some of your old high school yearbooks. You can take some time to rewrite your notes from school since it'll make it easier to look back at. You can take out the trash. Just do it. You can go look at the clothes that you bought online. You can buy some paint from the dollar store, turn on some YouTube videos and learn how to paint. You can tidy up your washroom. You can slow things down a little bit and meditate. You can learn how to tie a scarf. You can learn how to turn your scarf into accessories like a headband. You could improve your writing. So instead of writing like a chicken, you have actual readable writing. You can go around your house and start dusting, especially in those high shelves. You can practice curling your hair for those special events. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. You can download a new app on your phone. There's a link in the description down below for a video I made about that. You can give your house a makeover by repainting your walls or redoing the flooring. You can take a bath because after staying at home, you probably smell really bad. You can give your significant other or your dog a massage. You can meal prep for the rest of the week. That way you eat healthy during lunch and dinner. You can grow a plant and try and keep it alive as long as possible. You can stock up in hand sanitizer, but just buy an appropriate amount. Don't go hogging all the hand sanitizer in the world. You can learn how to shuffle, that way when you're at another party, you can impress all the people there. You can learn how to wrap your head in a towel, that way once you get out of the shower, you can keep your hair dry. You can start a Netflix show. If you need a recommendation, make sure you check out this video after this one's finished. You can get your nails done, but if you can't handle acrylics like me, some good paper clips will do. You can explore the world, but using Google Earth, of course, since we can't really go out during these times. You can give yourself a trim by cutting off your dead ends. I'm a little bit too scared to mess up, so here's me cutting the bare minimum. You can grab a healthy snack, like a banana. You can pull out one of your old board games like Scrabble and play it for a little bit. If you really wanted to, you can vacuum your house because watching the carpet get cleaner is super satisfying. 
And finally, you can like this video and check out my playlist of more things you can do when you're bored.